Hey guys, previously we just talked about showing resonance forms over a three carbon system, but let's see something a little, more, a little bit more complex. This is a pyrillium ion. It's a six-membered ring with an oxygen holding a positive charge on it. But don't let its complexity fool you. The rules you learn in organic chemistry can be applied to any molecule that you have. And here we have a positive charge right next to a pi electron system. And by your rules, you know that you need to be moving towards the positive charge. So let's go ahead and do that. Move the pi electrons to the oxygen. Alright, the charge must be conserved, so the positive charge jumps from the oxygen to this carbon. But we can keep going. Pi electron. And once again. Sorry, it's a bit low. <laughs> and the final step is taking the lone pair from this oxygen, one of the lone pairs, and moving it to a pi electron system. Which will draw a little bit further up here. As you can see, we've come first full circle now. The positive charge is once again on the oxygen. But these are not the same. In this one, the pi electron has moved over one. So we could have started not going from pi electron to lone pair, but from pi to pi. So to go from this resonance form to this one, we could have done this instead. See, the positive charge is, is maintained across all of these. Now, we can use these resonance forms to determine reactivity. Looking at the original structure, we can tell that this carbon is slightly positive, as is here. This carbon is slightly positive from this one, and this carbon is slightly positive. This will come in handy when predicting reactivities later on in the semester.